Africa. Tell your neighbor, Africa. Africa. You don't regard and you don't respect your own. I said, you don't regard and you don't respect your own. I'm writing a book. Africa, stop begging outside Africa. We are beggar. You never believe that you can go outside the country and bless them with little you have, but you want to collect from them. This is why we are what we are, beggar. One of the big secrets of me I want to share with you, all this crusade you see me doing all over the world, Singapore, Indonesia, this big, big country, I pay 99% of the money. When we are invited to crusade in America, in Singapore, I will say, how much is the stadium? If the stadium is hundred thousand dollar, I will say, do you have any area you want to support? They say, no, we are to, we are going to rent it. No, you can't rent it for them. For reason not to me, we don't control the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for whom God want me to pray for. Don't pay and start bring your brother for prayer, your sister for prayer, your cousin for prayer, your businessman for prayer. If you pay for the stadium for me, and you invite me to, for crusade, you collect money from those big, big businessmen that are sick, and they are the ones you arrange in front for prayer. And you will now be telling me, pray for this person. Don't pray for this one. Pray for this one. Don't pray for this one. This one, pray for him. Pray for this one. Pray for this one. You have not prayed for this one, man of God. He's the one that pays 70% of the money. Okay. Okay. God cannot cooperate or support such arrangement. Oh, you are telling me I should come out 8 a.m. When the Spirit of God says I should come out 10 a.m. And you are now saying I should come out 8 a.m. My accommodation, I don't let them know where I'm going to launch. After the crusade, you can know where I'm living. But before doing the crusade, I will not allow you to come to me. You organizer, you cannot see me until after the crusade. The last day of the crusade, I will call them and say, follow me home. I'm sorry for not showing me my, where I'm living. I will enter your country with money, and I will go out of the country, and I will not take your money out of the country. It's a rule, a rule and regulation. Because the grace is not for sale. My joy is to see people heal. My joy is to see people blessed. My joy is to see people delivered. Amen. That is my money. Each person that is delivered is more than $20,000. Okay, imagine in each crusade, almost 500 people delivered. 500 times $20,000. That is the money God gave me. $20,000 times 500, you know it's a huge money, which is more than this money you're talking about. The joy to sleep, joy. You need to know what it means if God used you to heal people. If you know what it means, if God used you to deliver people, you will want to be deliver people all the time. If you know what it means, the joy in using you to deliver people, you will never ask the people you deliver to bring cover or money, anything. Even when they give you, you beg them, please, don't destroy my life. If you know what it is, brother, Sandor, you're from where? Zambia. Zambia. If you know what it is to set you free, you are here with what you should now. From Zambia, you are here with the situation. 
if you know what it is to set you free from your problem, ah, it's more than a trillion dollars only you. Amen. So if you know what it is to set people free, you will never, even the person, after set you free, don't wait for the person to greet you, thank you. It's thank you, you don't need it. This is why after praying for you, oh, I leave you. I don't want you to say thank you, sir. I don't want that. Because God has given me something more than thank you, sir. And I don't want anything to affect that thank you, sir. If God used you to remove the pain of one, you are more than millionaires. You people believe that your reward is money. No. If you know what it means to do something and collect money. And that money is that your gain. You are robbing yourself. Something is sufficient. And that money is what? Insufficient. Cannot help you. It cannot give you peace. The money cannot give you peace. If the money can give you peace, many of you will not be here today. That is why you just see me at the Kotoebe. Since I started, this is just a Kotoebe branch. Mm. From the Kotoebe now to where? Look at the glory of God. Because expansion of the grace can be dangerous if you are not careful. If God gives you one dollar and that one dollar increases to hundred dollars, it could be very dangerous. That is why when the grace of God is expand, you too, you have to be very careful. Contain it, contain it. If you have not ready, Hold it. You can know if you are not ready. Like many of us, you do little business, million of dollar enter your pocket. Because you have million of dollar, you establish many companies, many companies, many companies. Will you be able to contain it? Will you be able to hold it? Will you be able to have power over this company? Or you ministers of God, God call you as a minister and you start you are gifted with message, powerful message. When you are talking, people cry. A lot of people keep trooping to your church, trooping to your church, trooping to your church because of that. You suddenly anoint this one. So no? You suddenly anoint this one because church is growing. Anoint this one, church is growing. Big, big, big church. Hey, hey. Okay, you go to Zambia. Go and establish one. You go to Kotonu. Go to London, go to America, go to the... It could be dangerous. Because of expansion. You can contain that if you know the expansion is becoming... Mm. That is it. You may be sitting, sir. Yes. When I started, the ministry was... Boomy, 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 boomy. Branches here, branches here. I said, ah. I just said, please, can you close that branch I'm for God's sake? Because I know I will not be able to stand, even though there's great power, but the human side of me. I have no anointing to give you. It's God that anointed. Suddenly, in hurry, because churches grow, I anoint you. Maturity need time and experience. No matter the mighty power God gives to you, you need to mature over time. You can go up and come down again. This is what has happened to many of us here. You are up there one time, but now you, you start again from the beginning. What 
kind of lie is that? Why can't you take it easy and go up in the season by obeying season? Dry season, rain season, just go up by season. But go up, down again. We serve God with our life. Tell your neighbor. But you, you believe you serve God with the Bible. <laughs> you, you read Bible, you serve God with the Bible. Jesus said this, Jesus said that, Jesus said that. You are forgotten even your life. That you have to serve God with your life, not only the Bible. That's what the Bible says. You seem to forget to serve God with your life. Do you know your life preach better, not your mouth? If you are telling me Jesus is love, Jesus is love, Jesus is love, that one is not strong. Let your life say it. Mm. If I stand here and begin to tell you Jesus is love, yes, Jesus is love, Jesus is savior, Jesus is that, Jesus is this, Jesus is that. Huh. But your life can preach better. Your life, mere looking at your life and your life and your life can preach better, better someone. Say, my life can preach better someone. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So, does your life preach? But it is your mouth that preach, not your life. Look at me. Without even talk, if you just walk out, I say, okay, who is this man? Go on YouTube, on YouTube, on YouTube. Ah, me, look at it. I traveled to Israel, I was telling you people. They were telling me I should not talk. They know me. They were telling me what I'm doing. And they can see this is what they are talking about in Nazareth, Capernaum, and all of us. I was glad. I was looking at them. So that is my life. I'm not preached this time. It, my life preached to them. Amen. God's time is the best. What you have just seen, whatever decision of God, I have no life of mine. If the Lord say, yes, who I am to say no. God has a purpose of sending me to your means. There's a purpose of sending me to your means. Yes. At the same time, there's a purpose of taking me to Israel. Maybe God wants you to appreciate me better. God of TV Joshua better. By the time you want to see me, you have to pay the ticket, fly to Israel. And go there to see. You appreciate it better. And you know, right from the beginning of this ministry, is the ministry that most persecuted in the world. The most persecuted ministry. And the who are the people persecuted the ministry? My people, Africa. I take it back again. This ministry is the most persecuted ministry in the world. There is no name my people have ever called. And there is nothing they have no, never done. Straight thing. And who are the people? My people, Africa. It has not been an easier thing, if not God. That is why I choose to live a lonely life. If you want to see me, come to this church. I don't go out. That is lonely life. Because it has not been easy. Because I don't know who is friend, who is enemy. I don't know. I would love lot to come to your wedding, your ceremony, Inviting me, sitting on the table, eat rice, chicken, 
but I don't trust anyone anymore to talk less of eating in your house. But yet, I'm always in your midst, right from the beginning of the ministry. This 30 years of the ministry, I have been always with you people. If I go for revival, after the revival, I came back. I don't miss you people. I love you people. Upon the persecution and the hatred and all, oh, I decided to love you, to take the path of love. You show hatred, I show love. But I want to say something. I love you so much. And I will always stand for the part of love. Anytime you pray, remember Africa in prayer. Many heroes, many great people, they have chased them out of Africa. What has happened to me right from the beginning of the ministry is enough to chase me out of this country. No, it has never happened to any minister of God in this world. What has happened to me? Make sure any ministers of God it has happened to. No. In this world, no ministers of God. But no, I'm still in your midst. And it, it, they were enough to chase me out of Nigeria, Africa. But I will go for revival. And always revival, you see the stadium full. The country. Minister, all of them gather. But I'm not carried away by that. After the crusade, back to home. Back to Africa. Where I've been persecuted. Where I want to be key. To be destroyed. Back home. Back home all the time. I live where I'm not celebrated. Where I'm celebrated, I left. I'm celebrated all over the world there. Yeah. But I left the place. But where I'm not celebrated is where I'm living. I want to pray with you, put this in behind you so we can move forward. I'm only expressing the happening, the journey so far. Okay. You bow down your head and ask God to give you a hearing heart. A hearing heart. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Ask God to give you strength so that you will not give up. Don't give up. Where you are not celebrated is the best place to stay, to get strength. When you are in the midst of battle, you are building yourself. It's good. Where you are not celebrated, where you are being persecuted, is the best place for you to live. So it will build you. All this will build you. Go cannot be go without pass through furnace. Human character too need to pass through war. That is why I decided to stay where I'm not celebrated here in Nigeria, here in Africa. Oh, I stayed there to build the grace of God. When the grace of God is in the midst of challenges, it gets stronger. So that is why I stay in your midst. Ask God not to give up. Give you the grace to stay where you are not celebrated. 